Local law enforcement tells us four rapes in Tulsa County spanning 11 years are now linked to the same suspect by DNA. Two News Oklahoma's Kathy Tatum says two of the victims were just 14 years old. Joshua DaCosta is a suspect now linked to those four unsolved rape cases. The first from 2008 involved a 20-year-old woman and was investigated by TCSO. At the time, DaCosta was a teenager. A 20-year-old female exited out her back door to let her dog out and was immediately accosted from behind. She was assaulted to the point where she lost consciousness. Tragically, the mental and physical pain of this rape took its toll and the victim committed suicide. So Arrested Tuesday for the next three rapes, those were investigated by Tulsa police. One from 2013, the victim just 14 years old. One from 2015, the victim 25 years old. And one in 2019 where the victim was also just 14. DaCosta was serving time in a federal prison in Oregon when he was arrested. It was for a 2019 rape conviction. Investigators tell me he was just days away from release when arrested. Coming forward, naming an abuser, and sharing the details of such atrocities that occurred to these young ladies is incredibly difficult. It requires immense courage on the victim's part. The OSBI also credits the Sexual Assault Kid Initiative for linking DaCosta to the crimes. The bottom line is we kept investigating and it never stopped. Um, and that's how we were able to uh, eventually identify this person. If you are the victim of a sexual assault, uh, you should know that law enforcement are not going to just take that report and stop. Uh, these uh, investigations are a very good uh, illustration of the effort that law enforcement goes through to pursue something so many years back into the past. DaCosta is accused of first-degree rape in the three Tulsa City cases, the penalty up to life in prison if convicted. Right now, he's locked up in Tulsa's David L. Moss Center. He's being held on an ICE detainer because he's a citizen of Guyana. In Tulsa, I'm Kathy Tatum, 2 News, Oklahoma.